The last two hybrid Shaolin Ba were hella good. I thought we had all the Chinese food in the world, man. Just when you think you ate so much Chinese food, you come to three times. What's going on everybody? Welcome to a special New York episode of Fung Ro's Food. It is never boring to film on New York streets, ever. Oh, you standing on the corner. There's kind of a lot of debate on who has better Chinese food, New York or LA. Yeah, and I think it's a valid argument to say that LA has access to fresher ingredients and it might be a little bit cheaper on average, but... Especially in the 626. But I will say this, one thing that is not up for debate is I think that the narrative of the development of Chinese food is definitely still centered here in New York City. Without a doubt. That is why we are visiting today three times here on Clinton Street. We're in the Lower East Side. Three times is a brand new casual restaurant concept that is importing a lot of flavors and recipes straight from China. All right, Andrew, it's getting cold. We gotta get in there. Let's check it out. Three, three times. times. And to join us on this journey, we have famous New York foodie, Iwa from Nam Life. I'm excited to be here. Growing up, my dad and I made a lot of dumplings, but we never made any Shaolong Bao, so I'm pumped to make this for the first time. I think Shaolong Bao is not something that a lot of people make at home. It's That's a difficult. It's difficult dumpling to make at home. All right, so we're gonna get back there with the head chef, Chef Xu. She's from Shanghai, and she has over 40 years of Shaolong Bao experience. I feel like dumplings, it is like kind of a big deal to do it at home. So it's really cool to come in at the back of a restaurant and be able to do it. In New York, you can go to the Shanghai Bao. They are very special. Have you seen it? It's also a traditional bowl. It's also a traditional bowl. It's also a traditional bowl. So here at Three Times, they actually have like a wheat grain uh, dumpling skin Shaolong Bao. So that's like really different. I've actually never had that before. This is good. This is good. <laughs> okay. You can see how the uh, filling is jiggling because it has the jelly and that's the soup inside that's gonna melt. Um, Steam out into the bun. Yeah. yeah. So this is how it's supposed to look. Mine looked like a manta ray and then this was more like, uh, like a pizza crust. And so that was actually a lot more fun than I thought. There's gonna be a lot of juice and a lot of soup in this one. Oh, nice. You, you, you were able to get it? I don't know. I don't think I got it. Looks like you maybe closed it at least. <laughs> I, thought, I thought they would. All right, put them, put all, we're going to put all our creations on the side, obviously not to get them mixed up with the, uh, the real thing. We wouldn't give that to a customer. You would eat that yourself. Do they hold up? Ooh, yo. None of them broke open. Oh, actually, that's good, yeah. Chef Shu was right. She was like, you know what? Don't worry about how they look right now because once you steam them, they look okay. You, I think this one was yours with the deeper pleats. That one might look the best. This one's really good. Mm. She that's, said that's that was yours. Yeah. That was... Uh, good job. All right, guys, we are going to eat these for sure. We are here and we are starting off the meal by eating the Shaolin Bao's we just made. And by the way, you guys wanna watch until the end of the video because they are doing a 15 gift card giveaway. So definitely make sure to hit the like button and watch to the end of that video. See, I gotta show my little man love. David, that's definitely yours. You had the mini one. I call that the Shao Shao Shaolin Bao. You had the best one. You gotta go for it. Oh, man. It didn't burst over. I don't even know which one I made, so I think it's this one. I had the open one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You had the open top. I had the drop top, you know, convertible. A little dip here. All right. You know, the ratio matter, and mine was not as conventionally tasty or as good looking, but I made it. <laughs> That's made, yours. It was made with love. Actually, mine was hella good because there was really so good. much juice. It, was, it held up. Yeah, and the, even though it was open top, obviously maybe it had a little extra water inside it of it. Like it cooled it off so it didn't burn your tongue. That's a good point. All right, you guys, that does it for our self made section. Like we said, they do offer classes here on how to make Shaolin Bao's at three times. They're definitely doing some inventive stuff, but I cannot wait the food that is made by the experts. Before we try a whole bunch of new flavors of Shaolin Bao, we got Ada and Cece, and they're gonna explain the history behind the name three times and what it means to Chinese culture. So we got the idea of the uh, restaurant's name three times from the traditional Chinese story Sanbu Maolu, 
basically it's saying that um, someone has the eager and showing the sincerely to uh, invite someone to join the business. The founder of Three Times is Jason. When Jason discovered Chef Xu, she was actually uh, only cooking for her family. But Jason never gave up, even though Chef Xu first turned down his offer, he kept going back, visiting her. And finally, Chef Xu was very convinced by his passion and his mission. So it's like third time's the charm. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So this is the mixed grain and pork soup dumplings. Zha Liang Xian Rou Xiao Long Bao. Pork and crab roll soup dumplings. Xie Fen Xiao Long Bao. The mixed grain and vegetable soup dumplings. Zha Liang um, Su Xian Xiao Long Bao. Pork soup dumplings. Xian Rou Xiao Long Bao. Shrimp pork soup dumplings. Xian Xia Xiao Long Bao. Truffle soup dumplings. Zong Lu Xiao Long Bao. This is the thousand buns. Nanfang Xian Rou Da Bao. The soup dumplings and the crab roll are the traditional soup dumplings. The other are like Okay, this is the pork shao bao. Let's get it. The soup is juicy, it's really thick. It's juicy, but not oily or too fatty. Just like the right amount. No, definitely that is probably one of the closest shao bao's I've ever had in terms of how they taste in Shanghai. Alright, this is the crab shao bao. Mmm. There was so there's there was wow. that one, those ones are pure juice. Wow. I love that. The food is so authentic and traditional to the Shanghainese traditions here, but then the environment is so modern and so 2020. This is the shrimp and pork xiao long bao. Let's try this. Mm. Just to give you guys a sneak peek of wow. the inside of a pork Ooh. and shrimp xiao long bao. I think this one bao. might be my favorite. Now this is interesting. This is the first wheat skin xiao long bao that we're having, and this is something that I've never had before. Um, and that I don't really think a lot of restaurants are doing. A vegetable xiao long bao. It's a lot more firm than the meat ones. Wow, oh, this is really good. Oh, there's also uh, vermicelli no. noodles in there. There's actually a lot of juice though. There was actually a lot of soup in that and that's not meat soup either. The inside kind of reminds me of like a Cantonese spring roll because they use a lot of vermicelli noodles and like vegetables inside. Here we have the mixed grain pork xiao long bao. What do you like about the wheat skin? And do you like it better than the original? Well, the wheat skin for sure is thicker. It's thicker. It tastes, it does have that weedy, like, bread flavor. How is it one to five, Dan? Five, that's really good. Uh -oh. We are on to our last two. I feel like, right, truffle. truffle, truffle, truffle. I feel fancy with the truffle. Ooh. Like, add some gold on here. You, you gotta sip this juice <laughs> with the pinky up now. Yeah. That was done really well. Yeah. And it tasted more like real truffle versus truffle sauce or truffle essence. Well, you, you, know, got the, you got the real truffle. Right, right. right. I think it's, this is a great place to come here and try different flavors because it's pretty affordable, very fair priced for Shaolong Bao and they have all these different flavors. For so, me, my okay. favorite one was it was what? the vegetable. The vegetable, the vegetable was vegetable. really good. Actually. Because you see so many people mess up on those. Right. But then I think the vegetable one was like, I would never have thought to myself that I would prefer the vegetable. I think shrimp and pork for me, that was really good. Something familiar about like that wonton feeling, but also the shallow bao texture and flavor from the soup. I would just say the original I thought was just done so well. That was delicious. And whether we wrapped it or not, it was still delicious. So you know the recipe is good. But shallow baos are not the only bao-like things they have. Because we have a nangfang bao, which is just a southern gigantic bun. Yo, that's juicy. Wow. Yeah, that's no, just juicy. go for it. Just take a bite. Go. Right. You let us know how it is. This is the foodie on the foodie gram right here. Wow, that is super juicy. Woo. This is the Shanghai Xiao Mai. This is the Shanghainese version, which is pork and rice, soy sauce and vinegar, and it's wrapped up the same way with the open top. Are you a fan of this style? Or are you? I love anymore? this style. Yes. <laughs> mm. This is essentially tastes like the dim sum kind of like lo mai guy, like the sticky rice, oh, the sticky glutinous rice. rice. Yeah. Except wrapped in the shell mice. Sorry. That was good though. It was really good. So we have entered the uh, noodle section. What are we looking at? Uh, we're looking at the Taiwanese style beef noodles and the Hangzhou style uh, glass noodles. Alright, this is their Taiwanese beef noodle soup here at three times. The broth is so deep. It's got a nice little spicy layer Very on top. Aromatic. I wouldn't say that that fully tasted like the Taiwanese style. I there was some Western Chinese influence in there, yeah. but I like it. Can you tell us about the Hangzhou? Yeah. How is it different? What is it than the So it's it's like glass noodles. It breaks really easily. You 
Anita with a spoon. Hangzhou, they have rivers and mountains. They say it's a very beautiful place. Yeah, very Hangzhou poetic place. Poetry. I guess a lot of ancient Chinese poetry was written in Hangzhou, in Suzhou. That's really good. This is the pork mooncake, xian rou yue bing, and then Nanjing salted duck, Nanjing yan shui ya, and this is the spring roll. Let's go with the pork mooncake. The pork is kind of sweet and salty, and then the outside is flaky pastry dough. This is that kind of like stick to your stomach food, you know, where it's like buttery, it's flaky, crispy. Anytime you can make something juicy inside of a flaky pastry puff, I'm with you, man. Nanjing salted duck. Salted guys, what duck. do you guys? What, 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 we, what, what should we expect here? Duck, what do we expect? The Nanjing salted duck is particular because it's got the pale skin, but then it's got the pink meat because they marinate it for a long period of time with a lot of different spices. So don't be weird at all. So it's going to be a very, very particular taste. Let me get up. Mm. Last but not least, we have the Shanghai Chunjin, aka the Shanghai Spring Roll. I like this one a lot better. There's something special about it. It's really juicy inside. Yeah. Right. So that's, that's really juicy. Well, that's why I thought it was taro, because I was like, yeah. this is so soft. Yeah. That and the vegetable shaolong bao were the sleeper dishes so far for me. Okay, we are ending off with the two big seafood entrees that you can only get at this location on Clinton Street. Here you have the HK fried lobster and you got the green peppercorn fish filet. This is fancy. If you're getting this for dinner, are you like having a banquet? I would say like to be at a such a casual sit down restaurant, but to be eating this type of seafood is really impressive. Right, because usually, yes. like you said, you'd be like, at a big round table with the lazy Susan in the middle, and then you'd have like 10 other like relatives around, exactly. and that's kind of what you picture. Now let's try this lobster first. It's like salt and peppery, and then also all that fried garlic. I like it. I, this is I easy really to like eat. It. You know, it's it's not really messy and it's crispy. The whole presentation is crazy too because they kind of put the deconstructed the lobster, then put it back together. <laughs> this tang jiao yu, um, it looks like this other dish called sui zhu yu, but it's not. This is tang jiao yu, and it's different because the peppercorn is different. Oh wow! Yeah, those uh, green peppercorns are very robust. Honestly, the food here at three times is so good. I wasn't expecting that. Obviously, the core of the cuisine here that they serve is Shanghainese. And they've kind of like layered the best of other provinces on top of that. So I think people should definitely come here and check it out. I'm going with the uh, peppercorn fish. What, is, what are you going with? This is hard. I think probably the lobster though, because fried garlic anything, I'm, I'm there. Overall, you guys, man, that brings us to the end of our feast here at Three Times Restaurant. I'm blown away to be serving this type of food on Clinton Street, which is not Chinatown. You know, um, this is closer to East Village, uh, Lower East Side. I think it's just amazing. I think it's hard to find this quality of dishes in one restaurant. And I think even the fact that they're offering like dumpling making classes, that's kind of spreading the culture, you know, because you yeah. get to make dumplings at an actual dumpling restaurant, not just in uh, somebody's kitchen. From super legit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Chef Shu. Okay, dessert is here. Uh, Iwa, can you explain to us what we're about to eat? So we have glutinous rice balls with in an egg drop type of soup with some additional rice, and then it's got some fermented wine in it. And I didn't know the name actually before they told me the Jiu Niang Yuan. You guys, this is from Hangzhou, and I think. I think the thing is, I mean, what, Hangzhou food in Manhattan? Oh my goodness, I don't think I ever had this. Wow, it's a strong wine flavor. Yeah. It's very sweet, but it kind of gives you that little alcoholic uh, kick at the end. I gotta say that they're doing some really special stuff here. Jason, the owner, was inspired by a visit to Din Tai Fung, and um, he wanted to bring that energy to the East Coast because they don't have any of here, so. And I, I think they, they definitely successfully did it. I'm really looking forward to seeing where Three Times goes. I wanted to talk to you about being a pro foodie Instagram. Could you sum up your guys' kind of like mission and brand? We really wanted to share our culture and our the Asian recipes that we grew up eating from our families. So being able to share those recipes and recreate it on your own kind of brings back that nostalgic feeling. So this is actually one of my favorite. It's just an oxtail soup, a Cantonese style, and it's a very hearty soup. The Taiwanese popcorn chicken. But that's your, that's your, you cooked that. So I cooked this. And you put the Taiwanese newspaper underneath too? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> See, oh, that's a lot of thinking. Okay. 
can you give anybody like tips because I think so many people out there like taking photos of food. Yeah, having a point of view and like a story and just a reason why you're sharing what you're sharing helps bring a larger perspective of just like what is the point of following you. Actually, I think that that was just that's a great way to end off on the advice section because I see so many kids nowadays, they're so good at the visual elements, but it really is perspective. At the end of the day, still the lens that is being filtered through. Okay guys, big shout out to Three Times, big shout out to Chef Shu. This was dope. Yo, Eva, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Shout out to Nam Life. Like we said at the beginning of this video, Three Times is doing a crazy 15 gift card giveaway. All you have to do um, is leave your Instagram handle down below and also leave a comment to which dishes you wanna order when you come to Three Times or if you win the gift card. Obviously, this applies to the New York locations which are gonna be on Clinton Street in the LES and Union Square. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that video. We're in New York City right now, and until next time, we out. Peace. The one pagoda in the middle, and then everybody is in the Kung Fu movie and hops on the water to fight at the pagoda. Is that what you did in Hangzhou? Yeah.